If you guys are looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 22 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and they have 24-7 support. Head over to MuttReserve.com and use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the best players to power up in Madden 22, guys. Now, again, apologizing for my voice. It's still a little scratchy. I was very sick yesterday. My throat's all messed up, but... Nonetheless, guys, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on that noti bell, give this video a big thumbs up, guys, and of course, for the Poodle Squad shout-out, guys, we have James G, shout-out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. If you guys want to be shouted out in the Poodle Squad shout-out, all you gotta do is like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and you're good to go. If you guys need coins, Mutt Reserve should be active soon, so if you guys want coin juice code Poodle there for a nice discount as well, and let me know if you guys purchase coins from that. I greatly appreciate you guys showing support in that way as well. <clears throat> Second of all, this video is important because a lot of players are going to be getting the game today, whether it's by flights to New Zealand or whether it's um first class in usa right whatever you're doing today you're up but the thing here is when you get the game you're gonna be overwhelmed by power players so i have a video coming out today how to use a power pass and how to power up players this is my first video one of my first videos so watch that so you guys get a good idea but then you're gonna wonder who should you power up there's over 200 probably players to power up right? there's so many players you could possibly power up well, maybe not 200 but there's a lot there's at least 100 something so I'll make a video going over my top six people that I think are good power because here's my best advice. You don't want to power up just anyone. Now you can, but if you don't know, if you're for a God squad, do what you got to do. But if you're a no money spent guy, you don't like to spend too much money or you're coin efficient. Don't go ahead and just power up every guy you see because you're going to lose a lot of training that way. You're going to lose a lot of coins that way. I'm going to give you guys that can be powered up pretty much all year long because that's what you want. You want guys that can start from now, at least be on your team, right? So like, let's say you powered this one guy. He'll be your starter for the first month. Then it'll be like a second string, which is why depth's important. Second string. And then when he gets his next new card, he's back to your first string. That kind of guy is the guy you want to power up. You don't want that guy who's only going to be good for the first week. You're going to power him up, put abilities on him, and then just power him down in a week. That's how you lose a lot of coins. So let's head over to the auction block and go to my first guy. I'm going to show you guys their power up price as well as their base elite stats when they're powered up. So first guy on the list at number six is Khalil Mack. Khalil Mack is a beast already. He plays amazing for everyone I've heard who has him. I plan to pick him up. I'm letting the prices drop just a little bit before I go ahead and pick everyone up, as well as I don't usually buy cards the first week of the uh, EX trial ever. So, Khalil Mack, his power up only goes for about 11k, as you can see here, and his full base lead is going to go for around 107, which is cheap enough, guys. He's getting pretty cheap at this point. So, the way you use that, you buy the power up and then you go ahead and you power him up and put the elite in. So, it'll cost you a little over 100k to get them both done here, plus training, of course. Of course, that just got bought out right in front of me. So, Khalil Mack stats, fully powered up and chemmed up. This is why he's going to be a beast. Throughout the year, you'll be able to have Khalil Mack at outside linebacker as a rusher. Starts off with good athleticism, 80 speed, 82 excel, 83 strength, 87 tackle, 87, 86 play rec, 86 block shed, 86 power move, 81 finesse move. Now, remember, fully powered up, he will get boost in all this stuff. So, he'll have an 81 speed, 83 excel, 84 strength, 88 tackle, 87 play rec, 87 block shed, 87 power move and 82 finesse move. Going forward, by the way, I'm just going to go say the power up stats because that's a mouthful for plus ones. Now, I think what Mac is, he's close enough to the 90 block shed and 90 power move threshold. So if you go get a strategy card, him, you could potentially get that up a little bit more as well. So make sure you guys do focus on strategy cards. He's going to be a well-rounded block shedder as well as power rusher. So that's why I like Khalil Mac a lot. Again, he's going to get some more. He'll get like a Halloween most feared card. He'll go back up to the top outside linebacker in the game or up there for one. Then he's going to get another card. He can, get, maybe he can even go for NFL honors maybe one day, maybe play for defensive play. You, you never know with him. So, Khalil Mack's one of the best players to power up in the game. He's a beast right now already. And, of course, he's going to get upgrades throughout the year. That's, you want to be focusing on guys who get upgrades. You don't want to power up one-and-done players because that's a waste. The point of powering up players is to have them on your team year-round, right? Next, we have Aaron Rodgers. <clears throat> Packers quarterback, guys. You cannot, I cannot stress this enough. He has the best release pretty much in the game. And he gets, throughout the year, he's, he's always a meta quarterback. With the way the game plays now, with having a little bit of mobility, kind of with that strong release, Aaron Rodgers is that guy. 2K for the power up. His base lead's only 50K. So if you go ahead and get Aaron Rodgers powered up and everything, he's going to be an 87 overall, right? With an 86 throw power, 88 short, 83 mid, 88 deep, 87 throw under pressure, 87 throw on the run, 85 play action. The beauty of Aaron Rodgers, he has a 70 speed, which you can take off with. Now, this isn't a takeoff like you can run around. Like if you're in the red zone, and some guy runs like one of those stupid defenses where he zones all his defensive linemen and they're to the outside of something. You can take it right at the gut. Or if, if, you, if you have people on a four verts going deep and you're standing there, nobody, nobody on a three-man rush, you can just take up. You can get the quick first down. You can get 10, five yards with him. Again, but as he goes throughout the year, right, his next card will be in the 90s. He'll end up with like a probably mid-high 70 speed as well as the best throw, throw, like throwing strength arm in the game kind of thing. And as well as the deep accuracy threshold. And he's Aaron Rodgers. He's going to get upgrades all year. 
Sorry, I didn't put Mahomes on this list because everyone gets Mahomes, so it'd be stupid. Like, obviously, like, people are going to power up Mahomes whether or not I, I say you should. Because at the end of the day, it's Mahomes, and he comes with a, a free power-up and a free card if you pre order the game. Next, we have Jalen Ramsey, another card that throughout the year. And the reason I like him more this year, by the way, is because he started off fast. In years past, the problem with Jalen Ramsey, he starts off like an 83 speed. So you kind of want, you want to basically be like too slow. The next card I'll get, because the next card, he's pretty much all threshold. He's already all threshold, and the next card gets his speed. So Ramsey's only a 10K power up, and it's basically 202K. So you click into this card right here. This Ramsey card, powered up in chem will have 86 speed, 88 excel, which is a pretty good start. 84 agility, 87 jumping, 87 play rec, 89 man, 87 zone, and 90 press. So he's going to have the press threshold off the bat. Which is why he's one of the best cards because he's one of the few corners that will be able to get 90 man zone and press potentially off the rip with some strategy cards as well as play rec and he has pretty good speed as well for a cornerback to start the year well for a jalen ramsey card typically ramsey does start like an 83 speed so that means that then his next card is going to have 90 speed with probably already pushing up to like mid 90 man he's going to be one of the best cards all year with 70 catching 86 jumping six foot one good weight you want you need physical corners now right with the way the game plays physicality weight and height like frame matters now in the past it didn't like Deion sanders actually may get bullied this year which is why i think they gave us a free Deion and a free randy because they don't have that physical body like that like in terms of weight and everything so it's possible that it may not be as op in years past i don't know all i know is that Jalen ramsey being a physical corner you're going to need that more this year than ever so Jalen Ramsey is going to be a good one, and he gets upgrades all year long. These are guys that from years of playing Madden have always been top-tier guys throughout the year. Next, we have Saquon Barkley. I'm a Giants guy, so you know i got to put Saquon on this list. And he again, Saquon is going to be one of the best off the ropes for a few reasons. First off, power-ups 18K, I mean, that's modest. But the beauty of Saquon is, remember, he has a superstar MVP card coming that's going to be a um, the best back in the game, like a 90 overall with like 89 speed. His base is an 86, by the way. So his base lead card powered up gets an 87 speed, which already makes him one of the best backs in the game. Not to mention the fact that you can go ahead and get his 89 Superstar MVP and rock with Saquon Barkley, right? Like, it's, it's insane. Saquon also throughout the year in the past years that he has gotten, last year he didn't get any upgrades because he was hurt. The year before that, he was one of the meta cards all year. So this Saquon off the rip will have 87 speed, 86 excel, 88 agility, 80 carrying, 69 catching, 86 change of direction, 76 trucking, and 81 break tackle. The beauty of Barkley, he has, he has that Derrick Henry S style where he has the 233 pounds. I think Derrick Henry is only 238. So he's gonna you're going to get the speed that Derrick Henry won't get with his Super Snap MVP card. You're going to get a better change of direction, better agility, better catching, borderline power back as well with the next and his next card is going to also have more, way better stats his next card will have a, probably about an 89 to 90 speed right there um depending on if you get a good strategy card in him at some point later in the year as well you're gonna get better break tackle he'll probably be in the 80 almost at the 80 truck range i forget the exact stats on the new card but saquon's gonna be a card that pending injury should get a lot of upgrades this year i can already tell off of the rip they're gonna be upgrading him saquon put people pull packs to saquon barclays you just know the deal Next, the, these are the staples of Mutt, in my opinion, in terms of power up and base leads. Aaron Donald, power ups, oh, about 12K here, 11K right there. You go down 200K, Aaron Donald's a staple of Mutt. You get him, you get him powered up and you set him and forget it. It'll be an 89 overall, 76 speed, 84 uh, Excel, 90 strength off the rip, which is important. Again, strength, physicality, weight, that matters. I feel like to move someone, you're going to need that strength this year. 84 tackle, 86, 87 play record have 89 block shit, 89 power move, 86 finesse move. So with the strategy card, all he needs is plus ones on block shit and power move. And he's essentially a top. He's one of the best pass rushing and best run stuffing guys in the game off the rip. It's Aaron Donald. You guys already know the deal with Aaron Donald. And for the best guy as per usual. Now, here's, here's a quick caveat I want to get to is Tyree Kill isn't the fastest guy to start this year. It's Jamar Chase. It's a few other guys. There's Devonta Smith. There's a few other guys right there in that range. But here's the, th here's the difference with Tyree Kill, right? Tyree Kill... Is the reason he goes to 300k tyree kill powered up this year may only get a 90 speed off the rip which means jamar chase is one speed faster difference is rookie premier jamar chase isn't the power-up card he can't get any faster than that and there's a chance jamar chase doesn't get an upgrade for a while because remember he's already an 86 overall so to get him up there he's gonna be like he's gonna be like a huge team of the week week which may he might not even be a big impact player in the nfl just to start right away he may have to get acclimated a lot of things that happen so in terms of safeness and investments and who's going to go up in speed and be the highest speed guy for a while, probably Tyreek Kill's going to take that one, one card from Tyreek Kill as an upgrade, and he's already like at a 93, 94 speed. Jamar Chase may never get another upgrade, so right now the only play people competing with him would really be like the Lance Allworth, who's slower, and maybe the, and the Devonta Smith too, that's a one and done card, so in terms of he's not going to have... He may not get another card like that. The Eagles team sucks. You don't know if he'll get another card like that. They may they may force the rookies to get some cards throughout seasonal promos like they do in the past. But in terms of safe, long-term upgrading, it's going to be Tyreek Hill. Powered up and guys who have 90 deep route running and 90 speed. That's all you need to see. 
he'll be one of the top deep route runners as well as one of the fast guys in the game it's Tyreek Hill, not to mention he gets that crazy 90 agility as well, powered up and chemmed up, crazy 90 excel, and his catching and everything else is just good enough to be a very, very usable wide receiver. He gets 90 change of direction, 90 juking, going to be one of the best RPO bubble screen, RPO slant, R RPO anything guys, going to be one of the best wide receiver screen guys, going to be one of the best uh, deep post, you know, deep crossers, that's going to be Tyreek Hill, he's that guy. But guys, that's the top list today. We got Mac, Rogers, Ramsey, Saquon, Donald, and Tyreek Hill. I'm probably gonna go after this video and probably power up my Saquon because at the end of the day, I, I do want that Saquon really bad. I'll probably power him up, and I kind of want Tyreek too because I do, I do, I pulled Tyreek's power up earlier actually. But yeah, that's about it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you guys need coins, head over to my reserve down below. Use code Poodle at checkout. If you guys want to be shouting the Poodle Squad shout out, comment down below Poodle Squad and like the video. And of course, always smash the like button. Thank you for watching. If you have any other questions or I want to ask if there's anyone else you should recommend, like look, give me a name and I'll let you know if I say yes or up, you know, thumbs up, thumbs down. That's about it. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.